I tried to make an Epta video style reel. Most editors think fancy effects equals good video. They're wrong. A good video isn't about tricks. It's about making people feel something. Focus on impact. The effects come later. And in this video, I'll be showing you how to make the glowing balls animation part of it. If you want the full project file and you'd like content like this, check out my school community. The link is in the description box below. Now let's get into After Effects. All right, so we're in After Effects. First thing we're gonna do is create a circle. And we're gonna add a gradient ramp and we're gonna set the gradient here. And then we're gonna add a tint and make the color white and make the amount about 25%. Then we're gonna add an inner glow. Set the color to white. And increase the size to about 63. Then we're gonna make the body. So we're gonna make a, another shape layer, this time in the size of an oval. We're going to center it using the align tab. Then we're gonna add the same gradient here. And then adjust the position. And then we're gonna add a mask to mask some of this out. And then we're going to increase the feather. Then just adjust the mask a little bit. Then we're going to rename these layers to body and head. Then we're gonna make a new composition for our glowing balls. And we're gonna make a perfect sphere with the shape tool. And we're going to add a wiggle expression to the position, a wiggle of 170. Then we're gonna add a glow. And we're gonna adjust the settings to our liking. You can also add a deep glow here if you have that. I think that works slightly better. But here we're going to add two glows on top of each other. Then we're going to duplicate the ball layer till we have five different balls. And we're just going to make each one a different color and move the position slightly. Awesome. Now we're going to add this composition to our main comp. We're going to parent the glowing balls to the head and set it as the track map. Then we're going to add a fast box blur to the glowing balls, set it to about 30. And we're going to turn the head layer back on. Then we're gonna add some eyes. So with the rounded rectangle tool, we're going to add one eye, duplicate it, drag it to the right and add another, and then add a gradient ramp to both of these layers. We're gonna adjust the gradient. And then we're going to change the opacity for both of these to about 35%. Then we're gonna create a new null layer and we're gonna link both of the eye layers to that null. And we're gonna keyframe the position to create the eye movement. And then we're gonna easy ease the keyframes and we'll play it back, fit to comp. And that's how it's looking. And I think now I just want to drag the head down a little bit closer to the body here. So I'll parent the glowing balls to the head and then just drag the head layer down. And this is what we got. <laughs> 